Hey, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create this awesome color shift effect like in the example right now. Alright, so that looks really, really cool. I won't be showing you how to create the entire thing though, because I already have a bunch of tutorials that explain you how to create this kind of effect. I will put links to them in the description. I'm talking about the glitch tutorials on how I did the text animations and the color shift effects in the text itself. I have different tutorials about that, so go and check them out with the links in the description. What I will be talking about right now is in the background, you have these color shift effects, and you can use that as an overlay on any kind of project that you might have. Alright, so that's what we're going to be seeing today. If you're interested in this template to use it on your own projects, movies as a trailer text or intro text, you can buy this on our website with link in the description. So go and check that one out. And apart from that, we have a bunch of other stuff to offer on our website. So definitely check out our website. It's really, really cool. And without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that we want to do is create a new composition. Make sure your composition is full HD and make it around 10 seconds long. Rename your composition to Fractal Noise Comp and click OK. So now what we want to do is create a new solid layer and we're going to rename this to Background. Click OK and create another solid layer and change the color to red and click OK and rename it to Fractal Noise 01 and now in the effects and presets we're going to search for Fractal Noise apply our effect to the solid layer and there we go now we want to concentrate here on the Fractal Noise the contrast we want to change it to 500 and the brightness to minus 120 Open up the Transform tab and uncheck Uniform Scaling. Change the scale width to 2500 and the scale height to around 600. And for the complexity, change it to something like 10. Alright, so now Alt-click on the stopwatch for the brightness, which will open up the Expression tab and write Wiggle, open parentheses, 10, comma, 50, close parentheses, and copy that expression because we'll need it later. Go back to the Fractal Noise and Alt-click on the Scale Width and paste that expression in there as well. And then Alt-click on the Stopwatch for the Height and also paste it in there. Alt-click on the Stopwatch for the Offset Turbulence, paste it in there. And Alt-click on the Evolution Stopwatch and paste it in there. So that's it for the Fractal Noise effect. Click on the Solid Layer itself and press T on the keyboard and Alt-click on the Stopwatch for the Opacity and paste the expression in there. Click on the Solid Layer, go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint and change the white color for the tint to red. Go back to Effect, Keying, Extract. We're going to extract some of the black out here. You can also soften it just a little bit so that we get a result just like this here. Now go back to effects and presets and search for roughen edges. Apply that effect to the same solid layer and change the border to something like 500, sharpness to 0.1 and the scale to 625. Change the complexity also to 10 and there we go. Now create a new adjustment layer and rename that adjustment layer to Blur. We're going to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and apply a Gaussian Blur. Change the Blur dimensions to horizontal and change the blurriness to 500. Check on your background layer so you can actually see the final result and also check on the repeat edge pixels. And now we get a result just like this. If you think this is a little too intense, just click on your Fractal Noise 01 layer and go to the brightness and just lower the brightness until you're satisfied. 
Okay, so click back on that Fractal Noise 01 layer and now we're going to duplicate it. Change the red color to a different color like blue and click OK. And then for the Fractal Noise effect, open up the evolution options and change the random seed to 100. That will randomize it a little bit so it looks like a different kind of effect. And as you can see, these two combined, it looks really, really awesome. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. And definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. And definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. And apart from that, and apart from that, see you in the next one. Goodbye.